Okay, everybody, uh, welcome to Saturday night, and uh, today I decided that I would start doing some live stream and show some of you guys what I do um, with my uh, Facebook profile, my Facebook, to sell cars and to get more customers and make more friends. <clears throat> so, for the guys, for the people that don't know what I do, I am a social media manager for a uh, dealership here in my hometown and I do all the Facebook advertising and all the stuff for Facebook and for the social media so I see you know a lot of things that happen all the time and I get a lot of friend requests and I just I see people that make a ton of mistakes on their social media and since Facebook is becoming more and more and more of a pay-to-play program if you don't set your yourself up for fail or for uh, success you got to get some failure and I figure that you know over the next few weeks or whatever I just take it kind of step by step make these kind of short so you don't have to spend a ton of time but try to give you a tip every single week that will help you you know succeed get more friends and get more visibility because the secret to Facebook is more friends in your target audience so if you say you're selling uh Chevy trucks in, for example, here in Missoula, Montana, where I live. I don't want to have a bunch of friends all over the country. I can have a few that maybe they're my, my real close, real friends. But for the most part, I want to make friends and interact with people that are here in my local selling area. And I see a lot of people, I get friend requests from all over the country and things like that. And it's like, you know... It's cool because I want to be your friend. I want to help you guys and I want to do stuff that, you know, helps people. But as far as me actually helping them make any money by them, you know, I'll never buy a car from them because I'm just too far away. So try to make your friends in your local area. If you're selling, you know, if you're selling something that's nationwide, then hey, great. Friends, you can all get into groups. And make friends all over the country but if you're selling in the local area like I am you want the bulk of your friends to be in your selling area so join groups and things like that and I'll show you that you know eventually here in the future how to go about making the most out of your friends and then how to post and and what to post and when to post it so you get the most engagement that you can but so let's take a second here and I'm going to show you my profile and I'm going to show you a couple of other ones that, you know, are really good profiles and then maybe a couple of examples of poor ones. So let's go ahead and take a look at those for a second and uh, here I'll show you what I got going on. Okay guys, so this is my personal profile and I have it set up this way because this works the best. Um, one thing you want to do because the whole goal of your Facebook profile is for you to have as many friends as you can that are in your market you know to like your stuff and see your stuff and share and repost it so the best way to do that make sure you have a color photo of yourself don't use an avatar not a picture of your dog nothing goofy like that um, color photo works the best you want to set up your header page and you want your header to say something about you I mean, probably in just a second, you probably can get an idea of what I'm all about just from these four photos. This is where I work. This is uh, the University of Montana here where I live, where I went to school. Everybody knows my dog, and I'm a real patriotic guy. I love the flag. My bio is completely filled out. My about section has stuff in it. I have 2,700 friends, roughly. If you click on my photos, there's a ton of photos in there, and I post all the time. And my posts rarely are about cars, but if they are about cars, it's, you know, maybe a good review, or this is like a video right here that I did an ad for the store. I do all the ads for our stores, um, reviews that customers give me, anything like that. That's what I post. Never post anything negative. Never post anything political because you don't know who, you know, is going to be looking at your stuff. So I'm going to show you 
a couple of really good profiles and they're set up the same way and so let me show you someone here everybody probably knows this guy and when you look at his profile this guy sells a lot of cards he's probably one of the biggest hitters in the country he you know this guy sells 100 cards a month within two seconds color picture of him his header you know how to get a hold of him bio is filled out posts are the things that he does okay let's look at somebody else this gentleman here I don't know any of these people personally I just know that their profiles they sell cards, a lot of cards. These guys are are um, pretty well known in the industry. But when you look at their profile, real quick, there he is. Color picture. Another thing. His profile completely filled out. Okay. He does live streams all the time. He has good engagement. Um, I'm going to show you one more real quick. And then you guys can kind of get the idea. Um, I don't know this gal either, but within two seconds, color picture of her, where she works, there's no doubt about what she's doing. Okay, so when she sends somebody a friend request, when you click on that, you're going to know. So now here's about three or four friend requests that I've gotten in the last day or so. Okay, let's. I'm, and I'm not picking on anybody, so I hope this isn't your profile. This one here. This is a good profile. I kind of know what this guy has going on without doing anything. Okay. Excellent profile. Let's look at this one. All right. Here we go. This guy here. I have no clue. He does have a color photo of himself, but I have no clue what he does. You know, um, it, it's not really clear. Me. I don't know if this guy is somebody that I would want to that would you know be a good friend as far as moving the bar forward for me or not I can't tell from his profile probably won't be a friend let's look at another one okay this one here's got a picture of himself Porsche so maybe he sells Porsche I don't know um, if he does looks like he probably is a Porsche salesman um, I'm not sure but his, bro his profile doesn't tell me that. And if he's sending friend requests out for people and they don't know him, they're going to look at this and be confused. They won't know what's going on. I'm going to pick one more. Like I say, I'm not picking on anybody um, at all. Just scroll through and I'll just grab any anyone. Let's look at this one here. Okay, so this guy here, good photo of himself. You know, maybe he's a comedian. I don't really know. Um... He works for Fletcher Auto Group, so he's a car salesman probably. And he's got good photos of his family. Here's some stuff. But if he were to take five more seconds, probably, and, you know, everybody has their own opinion. They can do whatever they want. But if this would have been more like my profile, you would know in two seconds what I do, and you would make that connection. So try to set your facebook profile up have it complete make sure that when somebody sends you a friend request they can figure out what you're all about within just a couple of seconds and and that's the way you know to build your friends list all right so that is kind of how I set my profile up. Hey, Terry, um, I got a tip, uh, a guy that gave me the tip on my profile, so shout out to Mr. Lancaster, um, Lucas, Matt, all you guys that are on here, um, I appreciate you taking a few seconds, and, and if you have questions, go ahead and throw them up, but the main thing what I'm trying to get at here is when you're setting yourself up to sell things, you want to make sure that you can go out into your community and you can send friend requests to people and they will actually accept your friend request even though they don't know you. And that's the number one thing. The first thing that you can do to sell more cars, to make more money, is to have more friends. 
because <clears throat> that's the, really truly the secret. And most people just, you know, I see this all the time. Um, you know, I could open up my Facebook again and show you guys how many times I get friend requests and things like that, and there's no information. I don't know anything about these folks, and if I don't know anything about them, you know, I don't know if it's a scam profile. I mean, anymore, it's just it just doesn't work. So being authentic is probably the most important part of building your basic profile because the trick is, and I'm going to show you here, I'm probably going to try to do this, you know, every Saturday night, um, Lord willing, um, and show a tip on, on exactly how I go about it. I get a lot of engagements. I can show you, um, eventually I'll work my way into showing you how Facebook ads work. Um, the difference between a personal profile and a business profile. And Lord knows I see a lot of you guys. I get requests all the time to like my page and stuff like that. And here's the thing. This is truly the thing. If you are going to have a Facebook business page, you have to have a budget. There is no point in wasting any time on a Facebook business page because it's 100% pay to play. If you don't spend money on ads no one is going to see your posts or so few that it's just it's oh i don't know the word i guess there's just it's diminishing returns but if you focus if you don't have a budget and you focus on your regular profile kind of like i'm doing right now then more people will see your things than if you do it on a business page and you got to kind of balance it because since it's your, your personal profile, you don't want to pound car ad after car ad after car ad. If you go back and you go on and you look at my profile right now, you'll see what I post. This weekend was a huge football game in, in Montana. I posted a couple things about the football game. I post stuff about my family. And then every about, I, they call it the 20% rule. About every 20%... I'll throw something in there about cars. Now, Facebook stories, that's a little bit different because those go away every day. So you can advertise a little bit more in your stories because they don't stay up forever. So hopefully, you know, these uh, Saturday Night Lives will help you guys. Um, if you have comments or you have questions, I would love to try to help you guys. Um, hey, Lucas, nice to see you in here. Um, Matt. Okay, it's good to see all you guys. I really appreciate your time. Um, I'm just learning some new software here. Um, and there's some other ways that you can, you know, get in touch with me. And uh, other stuff I do. I have my Instagram. You can uh, check out my Instagram page. Um, I'm starting to get into that. I haven't really done a ton of Instagram yet. Um, there's also... my YouTube channel that I'm just starting to work on. Um, you know, I've just, I've been doing this for 25 years and I have a lot of knowledge and I can help a lot of guys and, you know, get through the pitfalls that nobody, I, there was nobody out there to help me. So, you know, this is the main takeaways right here. Look, check this out right here. Does your profile tell your story? Is your bio complete? Does your header say who you are? Do you have enough friends? And do you post on a regular basis? Those are the most important things that there is. And let's see here. And like I say, I'm just learning a new software here for live streaming. So hopefully everything is going good. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything you know I can hang out here for a little while um, answer any questions that you might have I'm not 100% sure that I'm seeing all the comments here on my feed or not but uh, like I say this is the first time that I was doing it so I might uh, might be having some technical glitches but uh, anyway so that'll take care of that for tonight um, Next week, Saturday night, I'm going to go over posts, what 
kind of posts to make, how you come up with a posting uh, calendar or schedule. I mean, I have a specific schedule that I post on. That way I don't have to come up and try to find new stuff all the time. I just have a calendar. And I'll show you guys how I how that works and all that stuff next week. So um, hope you guys all have an awesome, awesome week. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, and uh, take care. Have a nice night.